Hey guys, I'm Faris Gaskin. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to use controllers in your Laravel project. In an MVC framework, the letter C stands for controller. It acts as a directing traffic between views and models. To create a controller, we simply type in the artisan command in our command prompt or terminal depending on your OS and you'll type PHP artisan make controller and the name of whatever controller that you're trying to create. In Laravel, middleware can also work with controllers. So to prove our point, let's start off with a simple example. We'll continue with our previous project. So let's go to CD documents, CDA workspace, and CD Lara blocks. So as you can see, I've already opened my Lara blocks on my Sublime editor. So this saves a lot of time. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go to the routes folder and open web.php and I'm going to add a line so I'm going to define a new route for our user controller path square bracket right so I'm going to add a middle right to it Gonna call it first and it uses the user controller which we'll add soon and show path. Save it. Okay, now I'm going to create a middleware to be used with the user controller. So PHP artisan make middleware. So I'm going to call this middleware, first middleware. Okay, once it is done, you can see that the first middleware have been added into the middleware folder. So we'll open this file and we'll add a few snippets of code into the file's main function. So I'm going to add an echo right before return statement. So this will be defined as first middleware. You don't forget to save it. It's an old habit of programmers actually. We tend to forget to save our work. So I'm going to create a second middleware. So PHP artisan make middleware and I'm going to call this second middleware. Okay, so I have my second middleware here and I'm also going to add a line of code echo so this will tell the user that this is 
second middle bar. Okay. Okay, now that I have my first and second middle bar, so I'm going to add a user controller to my blog. So php artisan make controller user controller. Now there used to be a double dash clean after the command, but now this clean thing have been deprecated or actually removed. So all you have to do is just type php artisan make controller user controller. Okay, so as you can see, the new user controller have been added into my controller folder. Compare this to the older version of Laravel, the use doesn't have the app HTTP request and controllers by default. So you have to add those manually. App and HTTP requests. Well, some people might say that this is not required, but more often than not, Laravel will request whenever you're trying to run the PHP artisan serve. So let's just put it there. Okay, so we have our main class and we'll add a new constructor. To our class so the class user controller extends controller this will allow our controller to inherit the attributes of the controller class. So it would basically allow our controller to do everything that every other controller would be able to do. A friend of mine once said, don't repeat after yourself in the same sentence, but sometimes the same words mean better rather than trying to open a dictionary and try to find some really cool words to replace your vocab. So we'll add a new function in show path as we have registered it inside the web.php file. So show path and over here we have the uh, user controller at show path. So it will call this function and uh, request request. So it will receive a request parameter. So we'll define the URI as request and we'll define the path. and echo the URI itself and then the URL So request, oops, sorry, request URL, and then echo and 
next we'll echo the URL and we'll pass the request to a method to the naked eye this is a lot of unnecessary work but trust me as a long time web developer this is much secure than actually developing your website with pure code so we're done with user controller and let's test it out on our browser so php artisan surf okay so the, uh, the server have started at 127.0.0.1.8000 so that is our local host and let's see what we have over here right so this is our default main page and let's add that we defined in our web.php our route so user controller path oops class first does not exist so we might have missed something up above okay so we may not have missed anything but we have forgotten to register the middleware now in our previous video tutorial we have discussed about middlewares and each time we create a new middleware we need to register it in kernel.php so this is what we have missed so I'm going to add two route middlewares I'll call the first one first and the second one second so this is first middleware and this one is second middleware so we are calling the name first from web PHP and it's trying to look for first in the route middleware but it's nowhere to be found so let's refresh the browser okay so new reflection function action users and get parameters so let's fix this right so users oh okay my bad user controller and bar I think that should do it Refresh. Oops. Unexpected functions.
Okay, functions show path. Was it function or functions? Um, use a controller. Public functions. I think it's function. Seems legit. Use the controller, extends controller. Controller. Okay. Okay, so finally, that's that. So, as you can see here, we have combined our controller and middlewares to work together. So, it's calling up the first and second middleware, uh, and it displays everything inside this user controller. Oftentimes, while making an application, we need to perform CRUD operations, which is create, read, update, and delete. So Laravel makes this easier, as the controllers can do everything from one single file. So we'll start off by terminating our process. I think we have terminated. Right, okay, so let's create a new file. And we'll create a new controller called My Controller. Okay, so in the My Controller the, the, the controller folder is now having the new file my controller so we'll add a few dependencies app http requests and use TP controllers controller. I think might have misspelled this one previously. Okay, so we'll add a new function. Oh, sorry, what is this? We'll add a new function public the controller extends controller over controller and controller So public function index this function is basically going to be the first page of our display of records from the database and then I will add a few more functions for this So this will be create whenever a user tries to go to this create page they will be redirected to this function and function store 
So our quest. And so this one would actually store the information. And then we have another function called show. So this is basically going to display details of a particular record and the parameter and that is sent is the record ID from the database so we'll echo show then we'll have function edit again we will try to find it using its ID number. Then we have a function called update. And then the parameters would be request, request, and also the ID number. And last but not least, function destroy. So this would delete a certain record from the database using its ID number. So let's save it. Next we're going to do register our new controller in web.php. So route resource So we'll give the route a new name, which is mine. <coughs> it can be anything. It can be registration form or something. And let's give it a try. Okay. We'll type in my. So what happens over here is that we are being redirected to the first page of our database operations. So basically over here, we have a long list of records from the database being displayed. So if we're going to create a new record, it's going to be my slash create and we are being redirected to a new creation page for our user or product or sales or something. To display the details of a certain record, we'll type in the ID number, for example, one and it would show everything that that particular record has to offer and if we are going to update the contents of that record we'll type edit and we chose edit the laravel service container is used to resolve all laravel controllers so as a result you're able to type hint any dependencies that your controller may need in its constructor. So let's prove our point by first adding a new class in web.php. So class my class. So we'll define Bar. This is practically the second most popular expression on the internet next to hello world and we'll define a new route get
So what we're going to do is trying to display the whole class on the browser. Let's hit controller. Okay, so now let's create a new controller. We have the same name. And first, let's terminate our server. So, php artisan make controller. Implicit controller. Okay, let's go to this file. Let's add a few dependency. Let's create a class called my class. This would be the class that we called from the browser address bar. Okay, let's create a constructor. So we're going to point the my class name to the my class class. And public function index. Okay, let's save this. And let's give it a try. So, PHP on the sun serve. And we'll type localhost my class. And there you have it. So the contents of that class is being displayed on the browser screen. Okay, so that's it for now. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and see you guys later in my next tutorials. Thank you for watching.